All the links you need to join my chat or take action on the course or the mentorship are here. Otherwise, click that Twitter link to private message me. How's it going everyone? It's Louis Crypto here. I'm back with another HBAR update for you all. This is going to be a quicker one for me today because again, I've updated you yesterday and not much has changed. Over the last weeks, we were calling for this uh, level over here to uh, for price to retrace it back down to there, which has now been the case. So let me know if you took that trade just down to here on the loss of this level, which would also be the 618 that is a little bit lower at 5.2 cents. We're going to be calling for the 7865. There is a key level of support just a bit above at a 0.5 5 cent psychological level exactly. So you could get a potential bounce from there, but it isn't uh, exactly a fib level. It's just the psychological level. So I would actually be aware of it. So although it's not fib level, the fibs would suggest on the loss of the 0.618 come down to the 786. But there is that off chance, that off chance that because this is a five cent psychological level, you can reclaim the 0.618 and the 0.5. And then we'd that would be your correction essentially from this top over here. This would be your correction. We'd love that to be the case, but at the moment there is a warning of a capitulation as you've seen in yesterday's update. I'll link it at the end of the video if you haven't watched it at the moment, but there is a potential of a capitulation because in actual fact guys, this is where we should dump to. So we are there now. So in actual fact, when we're using the Fibonacci's after such a wave up, we need to correct. Nothing goes up in a straight line as this was. So when we do correct, it needs to be harsh. It needs to be dragged out. It needs to make you think that we're just going to be continuing lower. But in actual fact, guys, we're sort of in the perfect position when we actually go over to the left over here. I'm going to now drag down this box to the 0.5 fib and head over to the left. And we will go over to the weekly time frame in which we see that we're actually holding this area key area as resistance over here in which once broken above we went into this bull market and as we can see over here once this key level of support of this double top over here was lost the lost the neckline we returned back to this location so in actual fact guys this is what should be happening anyway because i'm going to show you in a different aspect this is a high or a swing high and this is also a swing high up here and when we form a new one in which we did because we broke through this resistance and formed our new swing high and this was the previous one so when we form our new swing high we should actually fall back to the old one but now use it as a swing low so we're flipping resistance into support and that's what should be going on here on the loss of this green box then fair enough we lose the swing high as a swing low so what would actually happen is we go to the swing low below so if this was once our range high we need to actually mark out the range low over here so i'm going to go looking to the furthest left i'm going to go off that red candle's body and I'm going to drag it to that red candle's body over here. Maybe even this red candle's body as that's the lowest. And then I'm going to make this green. So this is sitting at about the three cent psychological level. So any loss of this, a higher a green band, we're going to break into this range and we can see the range is between these two price points of about three and five cents. So a two cent a range over here. But again, guys, we fell into that range and never met the range low, which is interesting. And we invalidated that uh, that uh, framework or whatever you want to call it, what should have happened. And so what happened is we invalidated that and it's just simply after going up in a straight line, coming back to key levels of resistance, we need to go ahead and reject it. Of course, we would love to have held the 20 weekly moving averages because that is keeping us in this short term uptrend. We can see over here when we get above the, the purple line, we're going up and the moments we close below, we're coming down to the orange. But guys, in this case, they're both above us. So we would like to close above the purple to head to the orange. But you can see over here when we head to the orange, we continued with this uptrend. So technically speaking, we're coming up to the orange rejecting. We should continue with this downtrend. We will see if this is the case because there's not just uh, the moving averages we need to take into consideration. There's supports and resistance and we can get more advanced by using Fibonacci's because if, even without these fibs, it's saying that this key area of resistance is now a support. Maybe this is an inverse head and shoulders, this being a shoulder, this being a head and this being another shoulder. And then also it just being on this uh, previous resistance now support. We can also add the Fibonacci's and they tell us that this is over here, the, the two golden lines are, is where we most likely come back to. And then that means that this upward uh, push over here to the left, 
has been reset. So we're essentially after running up too aggressively, resetting the market, and we should actually take longer coming down than going up, okay? So in bear markets, it's the opposite. We spend longer correcting. Look how long we were going sideways for. But when it actually decided, okay, we're gonna lose this support, now we're going to capitulate very fast. And then for many months, many months doing nothing, and then we're going to capitulate fast. But then at some point, it just stopped listening to that, and now we're going up fast, and we're coming down very, very slow, which in actual fact should be the opposite, shouldn't it? If we are in truly this massive bear market, uh, this multi-year bear market where all, all uh, yeah, uh, a recession which none of these cryptos have seen before, you know, that scenario, then that would suggest that we should be continuing lower. But let's see uh, what the what will be the case, because in actual fact, guys, what we're seeing with our own eyes is what should really be going on in bull markets where we go up very fast and we correct very slow. I'm seeing that over here from this point only from this point from before this point. I'm seeing the opposite. So I'm seeing us coming down quick and correcting up very slowly and coming down quick and correcting up very slowly. But now from this point down here, I'm seeing the complete opposite. And again, what I just showed you over here was the bear market. So if it's doing the opposite now, potentially it is the bull market. So what I would need for like final confirmation that the bull market is here is of course, well, quite a few things actually. So to maintain this, but to then break above this high, on the break of that high, uh, price would be obviously not exactly up there, but price would be above this high. And then eventually these two moving averages will drag over and form a bullish cross. And then we need to fall back to that bullish cross. And only then I'm going to be pretty uh, certain that we've got that bull market. So there's a lot of work to do, guys. And the cryptos at the moment are looking ugly. Again, there's a capitulation warning because although we're in the exact place we need to be right now, which is, you know, as long as it's holding a great long term buying opportunity, that might be the title or whatever. But there's a major capitulation warning because although we're in the right place right now to go up from, you know, Bitcoin misbehaves and it dumps and it loses the 27K psychological level and heads down to 25K, then, you know, H bar will lose this level. On the loss of this level, you're creating something called the reversal wave in which we should actually be meeting the one fib level. And on the loss of that, potentially these one fib levels down here, one of these targets. But again, just a little bit above those targets, we do have this uh, range low over here. Our previous swing low, our higher low, we can say. So we need to maintain that. If at some point in the future, we want to be seeing higher highs above this, we need to maintain our uptrending structure, which is a low a higher low, and at the moment, this is still a higher low over here. So we've got our high, we've got a higher high, and we're still maintaining the higher lows. So in doing so, if we can hold this and actually break out, as I just suggested, forming that weekly bullish cross, then HBAR should head up higher to new highs. I know I said this is gonna be a quick one, Sorry about that. Please do like, subscribe and comment. If you didn't really get it today, if you wanna join my group chat, you can just join my group chat. If you need more, inf uh, if you need more uh, guidance, then you can take my course that's for people that don't have as much time. If you want it to be personalized to you, I've got one-to-one -one mentorship in place. As I said in the beginning of the video, all the links you need are pinned in the comment section below. You'll find my link tree and you can just private message me on my Twitter or click the course and the mentorship or the membership level. Thank you guys.